bougie, ratchet, yeah. sassy, moody, hey, nasty, hey, yeah. hacking, stupid, what was happening, oh, bitch, what was happening, oh, bitch, I'm a savage, yeah. classy, bougie, ratchet. Good morning, Danny gang. Welcome back to our channel. Happy freaking Tuesday, y'all. So we just got back from the gym. And again, like I always say, if y'all follow me on Instagram, then y'all saw me at the gym. Y'all saw what I did in the gym. Um, I don't put it on my blog every day because that would be repetitive. But on Instagram, I do leave little videos. So yeah, go follow me on Instagram so y'all can be um, tuned in. So yeah, now it is like 6.30, almost 7.00 or around seven so yeah i'm about to jump in the shower um babe went first so i'm about to jump in the shower and then i'm gonna come back and we're gonna have coffee i don't know if i want to do iced coffee or hot coffee but i have both um because if you watched the last vlog then you know that i went grocery shopping and got some coffee pots and stuff so yeah happy tuesday um before we get this video popped off um I need you guys to know that I'm now accepting new members of the Danny Gang. So if you want to be a member of the gang because you're keto, because you like books, or because you just want to support me, then like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, and put your fist up. Y'all got to fight me, y'all, because 2020 is ghetto, and I need people in my gang that's going to hold it down. So like, comment, subscribe, put your fist up, fight me. Once you get jumped in, and only then do you become a lifetime member, period. So yeah, y'all, Um, this vlog is probably going to be Tuesday and Wednesday and maybe Thursday because I gave y'all two videos already this week. So you're probably seeing this on Friday. So happy Friday. Um, I'm trying to drop bangers for y'all because y'all got me almost 25k already. So yeah good morning um after i shower and come back i bring you guys back out so that you guys can see what type of coffee i'm drinking and if i eat breakfast so yeah i had a good workout now it's time for a shower so i'll be back So y'all, I am at Auto Bell Car Wash and I'm currently getting my car detailed. That's my girl over there. Um, y'all know I got a 2019 Nissan Sentra over uh, last summer. So that's her, she getting all clean and pretty. I decided to get it washed and the inside done because y'all, my inside looks horrible. And I kind of feel bad because I don't have any cash to give a tip but I'm probably going to like go to Dollar Tree and come back because y'all, my car is filthy and 
I don't think I got any cash. Dang, I always use my cash when I need it. But anyway, I'll go get him a tip and come back. But yeah, y'all, so we're just gonna sit here and let him do his thing. I'm rocking some Nikes. I have on my Fabletics um, pants that I showed you guys a while back. These were the two for 24. I got these and a leopard pair. This is a size medium and they fit really good. I just really love these Fabletic pants. No, this is not sponsored. Get my little zipper child. Yeah, this video is not sponsored. So yeah, just chilling. It's 10.05, so yeah. So y'all, this shopping center has Home Goods, a Marshalls, a Dollar Tree, like this shopping center is lit so y'all know i'm gonna have to pop in and see what it do but yeah um i'm just gonna chill get my car detailed and i will be back whenever we go um over there to home goods look at bonnie getting all clean she was so dirty y'all mamba our snake plant kind of tipped over yesterday so it was a whole bunch of um rubbish just on my passenger side floor so yeah but i'm gonna have to get this man a tip because my car is dirty child Play Meg the Stallion. Sure, check out this YouTube music station based on Megan the Stallion. Hey Google, turn the volume all the way up. I'm up in the head, so get that look in his eyes. The next day I might leave him on red.
morning gang happy wednesday so in the previous clips y'all saw me get up and get uh not dressed what am i talking about y'all saw me get up and do the dishes and make coffee y'all i'm on a hot coffee kick can y'all believe it um i've been having that extra calf coffee k-cup with a splash of the oreo creamer and a squeeze of liquid stevia y'all so good so that's like my little hot um that's like my little hot coffee drink right now y'all let's go outside Y'all, it feels so nice. So yeah, officially, good freaking morning, y'all. I am up. It's a Wednesday, and I love Wednesdays. Wednesdays are good for me. It's hump day, and y'all, um, I just cleaned up, and um, I'm just kind of like relaxing. It's 8.20. We did not get up early and go to the gym today, so I'm probably about to do either a workout here or just go to the gym um, I need to go to the grocery store today, like I told y'all, because we're going to have crab legs tonight. And, um, yeah, y'all, I'm on the hunt for Midnight Sun. If y'all like Twilight or whatever, y'all know that Stephanie Meyer just released a new book in the Twilight Saga from Edward's point of view. And, y'all, I'm on the hunt for that book today. Like, I am going to be searching high and low to see if I can find Midnight Sun because, y'all, I just... I want to read that book. I was team Jacob for a long time. Um, I was team Jacob like the whole time, but now I'm kind of like, should I, you know, want to read Edward's point of view to see. But anyway, y'all, happy Wednesday. I just wanted to come and say good morning. If y'all know where I could find a book, let me know. I looked at Barnes and Nobles and like all the bookstores here and I can't find it. So yeah, y'all just let me freaking know. Ah, but yeah, it's Wednesday. I'm happy. My coffee is a bomb. And yeah, I just want to come and say hello so you guys can officially see my face. I am going to probably add um, tomorrow to this vlog as well. Um, so it's going to be like Tuesday through Friday. I mean, Tuesday through Thursday and I'll post Friday. Um, something else exciting is we are going to be a dog sitting uh, for the rest of the week. So that should be exciting. I'll show you guys Max later. That's one of um, our friend's dogs. So yeah, should be kind of fun. And then, yeah, we're doing crab legs tonight. So y'all already know I'm going to show you guys that. But anyway, um, I look a mess. Just, just, you know, getting ready, getting active. So I'll see you guys a little later. All right, gang, so we are out and about, y'all. I'm trying very hard to continuously pull my hair out. And honestly, it makes me feel like better when I do pull my hair out and untwist it. But y'all, look, it's so hot. The humidity just makes it like into this big puff. Like tomorrow is gonna be bigger. Friday is gonna be bigger. <laughs> so, but yeah, I pulled my hair off out. And I um I put my hair out and now we are out and about. I told y'all that we were dog sitting, so Max is at the crib. Um so yeah, I'll show you guys Max later because we are definitely dog sitting, I think for a couple days. So that should be fun. I love dogs, I love puppies. I actually want one myself, so maybe one day um so yeah we did that well i did that and now i'm out in the bout um so yeah i'm gonna show y'all max later and yeah i don't have on any makeup guys i just have not been feeling like rocking makeup like it's just not that serious and it's unimportant but y'all it's 11 o'clock and i am really hungry but it's like 90 degrees so i was like oh my gosh i want something fresh i want something good so i'm actually about to go to tropical smoothie cafe and i'm about to get this avocado smoothie that is so bomb i think it's called avocado i'll 
I'll show you guys when I get it. But while we're talking about food, I tried to go live on Tuesday. And for some reason, the live just messed up. And it did not want me to continue going live, which was really freaking weird. But what I was just basically trying to say in that live is, and I'll just go ahead and tell you guys now, is that um, y'all know I've been keto for like the last couple well, for like the last year and some change, I've been keto and it has helped me successfully lose. Sorry about all the shaking. It has successfully helped me lose over 100 pounds, which is amazing. I love keto and I'll always be indebted to keto. Like I owe keto my life. Like literally. Um, Take this out. So I literally owe keto my life and... I was gonna do a separate video about this, but you guys voted on my community tab for me just to inc include it in the vlog. And y'all, it's not even that serious because not much will change. However, I did want to let you guys know that I am now officially low carb. Um, I'm still going to eat cautiously. Um, and when I say cautiously, <clears throat> I'm still gonna like be having my keto coffee and I'm still gonna be picking like cauliflower rice over mashed, but over regular rice. And you know, I'm still gonna pick like quest pizza over regular frozen pizza so i'm still gonna be doing a lot of things that i was doing when i was strictly keto the only thing that's gonna change is i'm gonna incorporate like some low carb things into my diet hopefully you guys are cool with that um because that's just what it's gonna be i'm still gonna be showing like keto recipes and things that i eat keto and low carb but if y'all see me for instance drink this smoothie like don't come for me because like i said i've done all the leg work as far as like losing 100 pounds and and if you guys are new to my journey, I have lost over 100 pounds on keto. Um, March made one year, and I had already lost 100 pounds by March. So, y'all, I'm just playing with it. Um, I might try Weight Watchers. I may stay low carb. I may go back to keto. I don't know. But for now, I am low carb, and it's not a big deal. Like I said, I'm still going to be doing some what I eat in the days. I'm still going to be showing you guys new keto finds, new low carb finds. Like, I'm still going to be showing you guys all that nothing pretty much changes but i did want to make sure that i come and i told you guys that hold on i'm trying to look for a tropical smoothie hold on so yeah i just had to i had to make sure that i was going the right way because y'all this is still like a new city every time i come visit you know i learn more and more but yeah so i am officially low carb and if y'all want like a detailed video just let me know in the comments and i'll try to get like a detailed video out kind of telling you guys like what i'm gonna be eating and things of that nature but we all know keto and low carb go hand in hand so not much is gonna change i just wanted to let y'all know so that way if you do see something that is not necessarily keto in my vlogs that y'all don't come for me i mean even if y'all did come for me but um officially i am now low carb and i feel much better without all of the restrictions and again i'm not going crazy because i have the type of body to where if i eat like three cheat meals i've gained 10 pounds so i still can't go crazy but i don't want all the keto restrictions i am still keto training and i am still keto coaching but yeah, just for me personally right now, I'm gonna stick to low carb. That way I can eat a little bit of this or I can eat a little bit of that and not feel like so guilty. So yeah, that's my spiel. I'm not gonna let it go on too long and all of that because it's really not that serious. I told y'all after my birthday, I was thinking about going um, low carb. So yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and do it. I've already done it and I'm just announcing it. And yeah. So anyway, y'all, we're about to go get our smoothie because, y'all, I'm craving a smoothie, something cool, something fresh. I'm craving, like, some greens, but not necessarily a salad. So we're about to do that, and then um, we're just going to run a couple more errands. So, y'all. Yeah.
All right, gang, so real quick, I made it back home, and I told y'all I was going to show you guys what I got. So I end up going to Harris Teeter and getting the crab legs. So I got three pounds, y'all, and they look so good. So this is what we're going to have for dinner. So I got three pounds crab legs. And then um, I always like to have sausage, like when we do crab boils. So I got some beef sausage. And y'all have seen me make crab boils on my channel before. If you haven't, I'll show y'all a little bit later, but not too much. If you want to see, y'all can just go look at my past vlogs, period. Um, I also picked up some beef ribs that we probably going to have on Sunday for dinner, y'all. Y'all. So I got these. And then I got these cornbread muffins. Um, the Krusty's brand, the honey cornbread. These are really good, so I got those. Um, then I just got some jalapeno slices because we were out and we probably gonna have tacos um, this weekend or something like that, maybe. So I got those. Y'all, this Ben & Jerry Cookies & Cream Ice Cream is bomb. Like, it's my favorite. Like, That's like milk and cookies. What I said? Oh, milk and cookies. Thanks, babe. This Ben & Jerry Milk & Cookies is bomb. And y'all know, if you've been rocking with me, I always used to get bae. Which one? Have baked, y'all. I had this for myself one time, and Bay fell in love with it. So I got both of us one, so he can have his own and stop eating mine. And then uh, I got all that from Harris Teeter, and then I also picked up this beer from Harris Teeter, y'all. This is really good. Bay likes it. <clears throat> So I got some more, and then I threw away the pans last time we had a crab boil, so I just got two more. I didn't feel like going to another store, so I just got two. And then from Aldi, y'all, I got the last thing of Zero Net Car Bread, so I did pick up one of those. Y'all have seen this on my channel plenty of times. So I got that, and then I also got candles. So if y'all been watching me, then you know how much I rave about these candles. And honestly, I love these candles because they're only three bucks, and they do make the whole house smell good, like Bath and Body Works. So I literally got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven candles for the price of one for the most part at Bath and Body Works. So I got um, a gardenia scented one. This is not my favorite, but it's okay for like a bathroom. And then I guess they put their fall favorite, their fall fragrances out. So really quick, I got lemongrass bamboo. I got agave citrus. I got another vanilla because that's the one I've been burning and I like it. Then I got Brisk Summer Nights. I got two of these because it smells really good. Brisk Summer Nights. And then I got one chocolate-filled Belgian waffle. And I only got one because it smells really sweet. And I don't particularly like sweet-smelling candles. So I just got one. So yeah, candle haul. If y'all have not been to y'all Aldi to get these candles, y'all are sweet. I put it on my Instagram. So if you follow me on Instagram, you saw it first. And then last but not least, y'all, from Target, I just re-upped on my vitamins. This time, I got the Heavenly Hair ones, because y'all know I take my women vitamin every day. And let me show y'all. I was taking this Flawless Complexion one, and the women's multivitamin so i still have a lot of the women's multivitamin so i'm gonna keep taking these and since i'm almost out of the flaw bless you since i'm almost out of the flawless complexion ones i just re-ups and got these heavenly hair ones because y'all i'm so close to cutting my hair so i'm just gonna try these and see what they do and then last but not least i got this um clarifying mud mask um because i need to do a face mask and i'll probably do this tonight and it's by shea moisture and i've heard so many good things about it so yeah okay guys say hey to max max put it down max so this is max and we are dog sitting a friend's dog okay y'all this is max i swear dogs and puppies are like babies so yeah this is max and i'm not really sure what type of dog this is or how old he is stop max but we are dog sitting and yeah this is max so we'll have max for stop max he keeps wanting to eat that 
um you know like after they mow the lawn he keeps wanting to eat that so yeah but this is max and i'm out here taking him for a walk we'll have him for a couple days he's been pretty good so yeah come on I haven't had a dog in a long time and it's crazy because like my mom and brother and stuff they always have dogs like my brother has princess and my mom had prince and then no my brother has um peanut and then my mom had prince and princess so they always have dogs but yeah this is maxi poo max 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 so yeah this one's coming show you guys max all right gang so it's been a little while later and um i think the last time y'all saw me i was taking max for a walk so after i got back in from taking max for a walk um i did a little work on my computer i supported a couple small black owned businesses and then i took a shower y'all my shower was everything so now i am about to do a face mask and I'm going to use the face mask that I got earlier in this vlog, which was the Shea Moisture African Black Soap um, Clarifying Mud Mask with tamarind extract and tea tree oil. And it's for a blemish and I guess like acne prone skin. So I did wash my face in the shower with my normal face wash. And I did use African Black Soap in the shower. And now I am going to put this face mask on. Because, y'all, my face is just really, really, really dry, and I don't know why. So, I'm thinking I'm just going to do a face mask. I used to do face masks all the time, and I would do sheet masks, but now I'm into, like, an actual mask, not a sheet mask. So, that's what I'm putting on. And, y'all, I love this little brush. This is a face mask brush that I got from Dollar Tree. Um, if you guys watched that haul, I did like a self-care Dollar Tree haul. And yeah, this was one of the items that I got. That way I could put my face mask on and my skin, I mean, my hands don't have to get dirty and I can just apply it. So it feels good. I'm liking this so far. Like I said, this is my first time using it. I just bought it today. So it feels really, really, really good. And I'm just gonna put it up. I didn't mean to get my eyebrow, but it's cool. I'm just gonna put it over my whole face. So yeah, do you guys do face masks? If so, how often? I used to do them all the time, but y'all been so busy and stuff, I haven't had a chance. But yeah, I want to get back to doing them. So yeah, y'all. Let me know in the comments what your favorite face mask is. I'm actually just going to cover my eyebrows too because I just feel like it. So yeah, now I'm going to leave this on for 10 minutes and let it dry. Yeah, let me know y'all favorite face masks so I can try them. I heard rave re reviews about this. So yeah, I'll let cover my nose ring. Uh-uh. But yeah, I'll let y'all know. But yeah, guys, really quickly, I wanted to, while we're kind of talking about like self-care and stuff, I wanted to come and show you guys a couple products that were sent to me. And y'all, let me just tell you, one of them smells absolutely amazing. The other one is just okay. So shout out to Dosier. They actually sent me over two luxury fragrances to share with you guys. And the cool thing about this is you can test the um, perfume before you buy it. So yeah, I got two perfumes and y'all, they came shipped in these nice boxes that are absolutely gorgeous. I love like the little pop of color once you open it. And these fragrances are made in France. They're vegan and cruelty-free. They're risk-free order, and they have clean ingredients. And each perfume comes with a card and information on the back. 
And then you can also see that it comes with the perfume package so beautifully and the sample. So the cool thing about this company is they're like luxury perfumes that you can get at a cheaper price. So one of the perfumes I got was like Gucci Bloom and the other one was the YSL Black Opium. So it's really cool because each card tells you what it is. So this is an oriental and it tells you the notes. So it's mandarin, pear, pink pepper, the middle notes, jasmine, orange, and blossom, and the base notes, cedarwood, vanilla, and coffee. The inspiration for this perfume was, like I said, YSL's Black Opium. And um, it's really cool because I'm gonna read from the card. It says their mission is to deliver only the best quality, luxury inspired fragrances at a fair and transparent price and allow you and allows you to explore new scents. So this is how it works. Any scent you order comes with a little sample. And this is a sample, y'all. And it comes with a little sample that you can try and test before you open the big bottle, which is so dope. So if you don't like the big bottle, then you can just return it. You can return the package with the big bottle and you will get a full refund. Refunds are free, no questions asked. So like I said, this one is like um, YSL's Black Opium. And I just think the packaging is too freaking die for. Like having this displayed on your bathroom counter is so nice and it smells so good. So if you have smelled um, YSL Black Opium, then you know how good this smells. It smells just like it. But the cool thing about it, like I said, is you get this sample when you order and you can use the sample and see if you like the sample. So like I was saying, you can ship this back, the big bottle, unopened, unused, and you get a full refund, which is so dope. And you get to keep the sample. So yeah, I just wanted to come and share these with you. Um, if I have a coupon code, I'll leave it on the screen. And I just think this is really dope because at times like this, we want to smell good. We want to have the luxury and the luxurious items but y'all we can't afford to pay the price so with this company Dosier, it's really dope because they allow you to do that so the first one i got was inspired by um ysl's black opium and the second one i got was inspired by gucci bloom now this one i don't like as much as the um ysl black opium but i just think it's so nice how it comes with a card and it lets you know everything so it says the top notes are ragoon creeper the middle notes jasmine and the base notes iris the inspiration was gucci bloom and yeah i already told you guys pretty much how it works so you can have the sample use the sample if you like the sample you can keep it if you don't then you can ship this back and um you'll get your money back so i just think it's really dope risk-free clean ingredients and you get the uh, luxurious smell without the luxurious price so yeah if you guys want to check these out then all you got to do is um click the link in my description box and um yeah use my coupon code so that you guys can save money y'all know i'm redecorating and i think i'll leave these at dave's house so um once i figure out how i want to display them i'm going to do that and show you guys probably in another vlog but do you guys think i should get a perfume tray what do you guys think let me know in the comments how i should display these bottles because let me show you the bottle one more time like y'all these bottles are so pretty like look at that I just think it's so sleek and so clean and I just love it. So yeah, y'all let me know, period. All right, gang, so Babe is like 15 minutes away. So y'all already know, I always start the crab boils off. So um, I got the meat going. So basically we use the beef sausage. So I just cut it, put it on there and let it start going. And then I got water, um, some salt and butter in the back pan. And I'm going to put the corn in. So we usually eat like two corns each. And these are the little bitty baby corns. So I'm going to put four corns in the water. Once it starts boiling, let that keep going. And then I already got the pot out for babe to make the crab legs. And then we use this Old Bay seasoning. And y'all, I don't know what else he puts in there. But he puts some other stuff in there. So, yeah, I'm just going to start the process, and he always makes the crab legs for us, and then he also makes these honey cornbread muffins. So, yep, it's 
starting dinner. Period. I'll show y'all when it's done, like I always do. But it's super simple. And if you guys want to know how we do our crab boils, just go watch like previous vlogs that have crab in the title. And I go more in depth in those videos. All right, gang. So we got crab legs going. They look so good. Let me see if I can show y'all. Here he is. So we got the crab legs going. Turn it back up. We got the corn. It's done. Got the corn. It's done. One batch of crab legs is already done. And then a sausage is done. And then more crab legs are done. We just took a couple shots of Hennessy. Um, got some lime. So yeah. I'll come back when everything is plated. Good morning, gang. Happy Thursday, y'all. Um, I'm feeling really good today. Um, we just got back from the gym and I just showered. Follow me on Instagram. See it in real time. But I just got home and your girl needs some coffee. So I've been drinking hot coffee all week. But today I want cold coffee and we're about to make a little recipe so I'm gonna use this ninja cup because y'all, this is literally the only clear cup that we have here. You know, I do have my um, cups that I showed you where you put the ice in the middle, but I'm just gonna sip at home. So I don't really wanna use that cup. So we're just gonna use this cup. Um, I am gonna be using a double shot espresso. I may use two of these y'all to make a quad, but we gonna see. Um, and then we have our sugar-free Hershey chocolate syrup. I have this Oreo Delight Creamer, which is so bomb. And then I have this Splenda, um, just a little squirt. So I wanna put my sugar-free chocolate in there. And y'all, I'm just trying to make like a little drink. So I'm just gonna line this glass with chocolate, two tablespoons. This is what it's looking like. You can have three carbs per two tablespoons. So I didn't even use that much, literally just a little bit on the outside. Then I'm gonna add the ice back in. After I add the ice, I'm gonna add our double shot. And again, y'all, I may do a quad because whew, it's been a long day and it's only 7 a.m. So yeah, there's one double shot. And then I'm going to add in, now you can have two tablespoons of this for five carbs. I mean, one tablespoon, yeah, one tablespoon for five carbs. Can y'all see? And then I like to use one squirt of Splenda. Put the top on. Y'all think I'm gonna have to do a quad. Y'all. That's bomb. This is just like a little bit of coffee, so I'm gonna add in another espresso shot. But this is so good. So I do recommend y'all try this, try this, try this. Um, this is really good, and no, this is not keto. This is if you want like a little treat, y'all, but it is bomb. So I'm actually gonna add in another double shot, cause y'all, it's really early, and I feel like this is all I'm gonna have um, for breakfast. I'm gonna shake it up. But yeah, guys, happy Thursday. I feel good today. I got a good workout in. So now I'm just about to chill, drink my coffee, y'all, because I desperately need it. I liked having hot coffee the last couple days, but iced is just called me Karen, because iced coffee is bomb. 
But anyway, yeah, guys, happy Thursday. Um, I'm going to drink my coffee and just chill. And I'll probably pull you guys back out in a little bit because, y'all, I finally found somewhere that has Midnight Sun. And it's kind of like a local bookstore. Hopefully, I'll be able to take you guys in there. But I'm going to go pick that book up today. And it was only 18 bucks, y'all, for a hard cover. Like, what? Y'all had to come back. This is bomb. Like, y'all know I've been making combinations. So, with this, I used two cans of espresso. So, this is an espresso quad with two tablespoons of the Oreo creamer, a splash of Splenda, and a little bit of Hershey sugar-free syrup. So, try it. Danny put you on, period. All right, gang, so it's still Thursday, just a little bit later, and I know y'all probably like, sis, you just said you gonna work on pulling your hair out. So y'all, I still got my hair tied up, and I'm not pulling it out today, period, because for one, I'm literally just about to want to run to Walmart because I have a return. And for two, I don't know if y'all could tell, but it's mad gloomy out. It's about to rain. And I'm just going to Walmart, going to go pick up my book. And then I'm coming right back in the house because I just want to like cuddle up on the couch um, and read my book. So that's exactly what I am going to do. Um... So that's why I didn't even comb my hair down. Tomorrow is Friday, so I'm sure I'm gonna get cute um, tomorrow. Cause y'all, I really need to take a picture. Like I really need to take some pictures, like for Instagram. And that was one of my goals for this week, was to take a picture for Instagram. It's not even hot, but the air just, I mean, it'd be too loud. But yeah, that was one of my goals, y'all. That was one of my goals was to take a picture for Instagram. So um, hopefully tomorrow, which is Friday, I'll be able to get a picture. Y'all are seeing this on Friday, um, but I'm sure I'm going to start a new vlog, like a weekend vlog, because y'all know how I do. I wanted to take a break from YouTube, but I don't know. I just got a sudden, I don't know. I just got some momentum to keep posting so hopefully i can keep this momentum because our channel's growing our videos are getting more views so hopefully i can keep this like momentum um so yeah that's what we own right now um but yeah i'm super excited to get my book and yeah but we outside it's only 10 a.m that's what i'm saying y'all Waking up at 4.30 is just so clutch because you wake up at 4.30 and you've already got your workout done. I've done stuff around the house. I've edited the vlog, you know, up until this point because obviously I got to add what I do today onto the vlog for tomorrow. So I've edited up to this point. Um, I've cleaned up. I've had coffee. I do have my water with me. I have my Dakota's water bottle. I took this to the gym as well. So, yeah, if you guys want to get one of these, um, the link is always in the description box below. Shout out to all y'all that's been using my code. I seen, like, five people this week use my code to get y'all water bottle. Y'all, live and die by this. Literally live and die by this. If you want something small, compact, that's going to stay cold, this is the one. This is the one. Now, if you want to get a lot of water in um, and all of that, then you might want to get a hydro jug. But, y'all, this is the one. They have this in every size and color. This is lit. I love it so much. So, I kind of gravitate towards this lately because it's smaller. Um, so, yeah. Y'all, I'm really, really, really focusing on my skin nowadays. I just want my skin to clear up and... I just want to be able to feel confident like leaving the house without makeup so i'm really focusing on like less makeup more skin um care so yeah but anyway y'all i'm about to go to walmart i'll probably see you guys when we get to the bookstore hopefully it's not curbside pickup and i can go in and show y'all because your girl hasn't had a book in a minute i have not done a dollar tree book haul which y'all should be getting one hopefully this month um but yeah, I have not done a Dollar, Dollar Tree book haul. And I know some of y'all missed them because some of y'all watch them. Some of y'all read books. Um, I know Lisa and James, um, 
she always be hitting me up on Instagram talking about what am I reading. So yeah, hopefully I'll get a book haul up soon. But yeah, y'all, it's a beautiful Thursday. Um, I haven't ate anything. I just drank that coffee and it was a quad and it was bomb with that creamer. So um, I'm not really hungry. I might get something while we're out, but we got food at home, so probably not. Books, independent booksellers, and wine community. So, let's see. Y'all, it is gorgeous in here. Literally, I'm going to be coming here all the time. You do have to set an appointment to browse and only 10 people can be here in at, a, at a time. But since it's just me and one other lady, um, I have permission to browse. Y'all, I, I, I literally love it in here. Okay, gang, so really quickly, I'm about to head home because it's finna pour down and I wanna read my book, but I wanted to show you guys. Y'all, I finally found Midnight Sun and I'm super duper pumped. So yeah, this is Midnight Sun by Stephanie Meyer. It's in um, the Twilight Saga. So if you see the back, you have Twilight, New Moon, Eclipse, Breaking Dawn, the short second life of Brie Tanner and Midnight Sun. Um, so yeah, it's part of the Twilight Saga. So you have Twilight, New Moon, Eclipse, Breaking Dawn, the short second life of Brie Tanner and then Midnight Sun. So yeah, that is the saga. This is a thick book, y'all. I'm super juiced. I'm pumped. Um, are you guys reading this? This is basically told um, like from Edward's perspective. So I'm super excited to read it. Um, I'm going to start reading it today. I got some bookmarks at Babe House, I'm pretty sure. So yeah, Ugh, the front looks kind of weird because that pomegranate, I don't really like these circles, but to read this i needed the book and yeah so i'm super happy that i got to get it so it came in this nice little bag that bookstore y'all i could definitely see myself going there i wish it was like open and popping because you can tell that it was like a pretty um cool kind of um place where you can get like a cup of coffee and read i promise you i will go there all the time cuddle up on the couch with a cup of coffee and read like on a saturday morning or something like that so yeah got my book got the couple things that i needed from walmart y'all i'm using this call and i think 
this app i'm using this call i'm using this app and it's called any list and i'm gonna put it on the side of the screen y'all it's not sponsored i just discovered the app and the app is dope because as you're grocery shopping you can just tap it and cross stuff out as y'all see on one of the sides of the screen love the app so i was able to get everything else that i needed from walmart and now your girl is going home like your girl is going to the crib because it's only 11 a.m. That's a wild. Tell y'all waking up early is beneficial, um, but it's only 11 a.m. So I'm going to go home. Um, I think I'm going to make tacos tonight. And yeah, I got everything we needed at the crib. All I needed was salsa. So yeah, other than that, yeah, I'm about to go to the crib. I'm trying to think where I'm going to end this vlog because I've been talking to y'all forever. Like, this vlog is literally probably going to be an hour long. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed. I don't know if y'all like hour-long vlogs. I guess you're going to tell me. But anyway, let me um GPS my way home and I will pick y'all back up in a little bit. Alright, gang. I just wanted to come back and end the vlog, y'all. I am on the first chapter of Midnight Sun, and it is already popping. So, I'm just about to get on that couch. See it all cozy over there. I'm about to get on the couch. I'm about to read another chapter, and then I am going to edit this vlog, add some glitz and glamour, and get ready for you guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed this, y'all. This is an hour-long vlog, so let me know down below. Do y'all like these long vlogs? y'all wanted to be shorter let me know and yeah i'm so super excited we are having tacos tonight it's thursday but y'all have seen us make tacos so much like we literally have tacos like once a week so we're having tacos tonight so i'm not gonna um keep filming because y'all already know how i do tacos low carb shells etc so yeah i love y'all so much thank you guys for rocking with me for this whole hour thank you guys for talking to me because i'm sure i did a premiere so thank you guys so much for talking to me. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you made it all the way to the end, drop the little book down below. And if you guys are interested in trying Desir, um Luxury Perfumes, click the link in the description box. And there's a direct link so that you can save coin and try it out. And like I said, if y'all try it um, and you don't like it, you can send it back. Just don't open the big bottle. But anyway, if you made it all the way to the end, drop the book down below. And I'll see you guys on Monday. I love y'all. And yeah.